and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so meet tiny core one of the smallest almost the smallest linux distribution the pc ram requirements for this distro is 46 megabytes that's all you need to run it so what I've done is I hope you're still recording yeah is I created a tiny core like virtual machine it is a 32-bit machine with 512 megabytes of RAM and 60 megabytes of video memory I'm putting it in the one of the lowest states because sometimes you have a really slow PC a really low-end PC also this only has like 5 gigs of storage as well you have little RAM you have little storage you need a new operating system because yours is either very outdated or it's just not working for you you just don't like it and you just don't want to use it anymore. or even you just broke it and you need something new or like a new operating system I've done that quite a few times with Windows 10 so don't, uh, don't think that's not impossible so I'm going to run it and we're going to see how does it work with its little requirements it has will it work on 500 megabytes of RAM will it work on 60 megabytes of video RAM will it work on 5 gigs of storage let's test it out alright so there's the tiny core for slow devices then there's the, just the command line and this is for slow device command let's first boot tiny core itself the original or not the original the, the actual operating system let's see how it runs let's see how it works let's make this full screen as well all right not um, very basic it seems you can't you know you, you can't do this you cannot do that just a uh, yeah just saying that if you do that you get this basically this is probably everything that's underneath here yeah exit editor control panel apps yeah it's, it's all basically here yeah even even oh yeah it kind of lagged it for a while so there's the terminal the uh, okay it's this is on the side for some reason uh let's see Okay, let's try Alice. Okay, who am I? Because we don't need to install it. We're TC. Uh, let's see. sudo apt get update. apt. Let's try get. There we go. And not found. Okay, so I guess it doesn't use that specific type thingy maybe I if I want to use it maybe I have to configure to use it I don't know I've never encountered this problem before so yeah here's the terminal it is actually hey it's actually not pretty bad interesting and I like the look of it I didn't like that this is on the side but I looked at the look of it then let's see you have system tools you have apps first one would you like the system to pick up what why why do you do that here we go okay first run would you like the system to pick the faucet mirror yeah do it hmm checking 22 mirrors please wait okay that's fine I have no idea what's actually going on on boot. I, I don't know. Download plus load as mm, apps. Well, I can't search. I don't quite understand what's going on here. 
Yeah, I have no idea. I'll have to actually learn this. So let's see. Then we have the control panel. So this would probably be the settings. So backup, restore, data, time, network, whatever that is. Mount, mouse. Ooh, mouse. I wouldn't mind. Oh, mouse speed. Yeah, we can maybe just make that to that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Apply. Oh, wait. I had to apply it first. Yeah, it's still better. <laughs> okay. System stats. Yeah, I will be able to install htop, so I guess this would be useful to see a mem. Okay, total mem is 445 megabytes, around there. Now, the free mem is free. Uh, we have a calculator, right? Let's go system tools, their calculator. I don't see a calculator. See an editor. There's no calculator. What's top? Uh, it's that top. I can't really read this, so I can't kinda. Basically, that is that's way that's like just above 50 megs of RAM. It uses just above 50 megs of RAM. That is extremely impressive. That's and this is supposed to be a very slow system. Wow, okay. That's really interesting. It doesn't use a lot at all. Wait, wait, I wasn't done yet. They have a terminal server, you have wallpapers, services, services. Okay, don't know what that is. Wallpapers. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, nice. I'll keep that. Oh yeah, you don't have to. There's nothing really here I want to check out anymore. Let's see what other tools we have. We have an editor. There's probably just like a text editor. Yeah. We have screenshots. So you can take a screenshot. Screenshot saved. Services top X kill. What's X kill? Let's open an application. Let's open terminal. Then let's open Xkill. Uh, okay, so if there's a program not responding and it's just not working for you, you just want to close it. You go to System Tools, you go Xkill. That's really useful. I we actually wish most or more other operating systems would have this. New desktop. Don't know what that means. Nothing happened. Oh wait. Oh, I see, I see. So desktop 2, we can add a terminal. Then we can go to desktop 1. So you can have multiple desktops open. If uh, that is what you like. You have sticky, but that's empty. Okay, that's cool. Delete this desktop. Nice. It does it seem less? It looks, it looks a little bit less than what it was. The exit, I believe, is just shutting down. Yeah, so we're going to reboot and we're going to um, just, you know, just try the slower one. I am actually quite impressed with how good that worked, considering because the whole thing around it is being minimalistic. So let's go tiny core, but for slow devices. So it's being, it's giving you. The, for the smallest amount of size, it's giving you something. Now, um, either, if you're going to uh, ever switch to something like this, I recommend you do your research and you actually search up what's going on. Okay. Um, it seems pretty normal. So, yeah, nothing really has changed, to be honest. Still kind of the same. Can we just... Preview. Yeah, just give it more color. Yeah, nothing special. So let's give it even a harder time. Let's make it even slower. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to uh, shut down completely. Okay. Now let's go in here. You're still recording, right? Yeah. Let's go in here. Let's go to your settings. We go to system. And we change this to... Um, I don't know what's underneath this one, what's before this. So I'm just going to go somewhere. Let's give it 
100 megabytes of RAM. I don't know what should be. I don't know it's 512, then it's 1024, and then I think it's 2048, I think. So if you really think I should just put that in half and let's do that. So it was. Five, five, dude, five. Not bad, twelve. Five, twelve divided by two. Two. That is okay. Let's make it even slower. Divide that by two. Okay, divide that by two. Sixty-four. Let's give it sixty-four megabytes of RAM. We'll give it the really slow. Sixty-four. That's barely anything. So let's see how it will work if you give it that. In fact, I would actually like to make it even weaker. I don't know. I, I don't know if all PCs, probably all PCs kind of like have that. As you like the VRAM. I don't know if some PCs have. Yeah, you have to give it some VRAM. Let's give it six. Make it really slow. Because you have six V um, video memory. And we have 64 megabytes of normal memory. Let's boot it up and let's see how it runs. Let's see how it works. So let's boot up to normal tiny core. Let's see how that runs. Oh, this is truly impressive. There's no difference in how it runs at all. It still runs, it still even opens up the same. Dude, that's pretty, pretty, as people these days say, dope. Let's see top. Okay, so it has 44 megs of RAM it's using, and there is 10 megs free, or it's using 45, it's, yeah, it's, it has 11 megabytes free RAM, that's the, the top, okay, so, the, wow, that's a lot of RAM, and it is just, wow, I'm not gonna lie, who would have guessed? So let's uh, let's see let's push it a little bit. We uh, open up a few. Oop, we're experiencing lag. Oh wait, no, that's not lag. That's just my mouse being a little a bit weird. Uh, then we can open up something like top. Then we go to this desktop. I don't know. Uh, no, let's let's delete the desktops. Let's just open a bunch of things on here. So then we can just like open up a ton of random applications. Let's see how far we can actually push it. It has 7 megs free RAM. Uh, we're on editor. Oh, and here's all the tabs, you know, that's also nice. Oof, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit now. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let's run that as well. Woo! I can't, I can't find my mouse. I guess it probably crashed. Because that was, that was a lot. Alright, so on boot up it had 10 megs free RAM. Now, that was for the one... For PCs with a fairly decent amount of RAM, which is 64 megs. So let's see how it works on the tiny core, but for slower devices. Okay. Oop, I feel a little bit sluggish actually. So let's open top. And yeah, it's it's actually using a lot of RAM. Even though it's for slower users, it's still using a lot. So if we're going to like open a bunch of things again, um, it's going to spike because there's four makes free. Four makes. I feel this is actually doing worse than the previous one. Eight hundred. I mean eight makes. Is that even? Yeah, it is probably like eight makes that. Yeah, it's going to the max right now. 
like if you have a, need to have a lot of things open at once will this be usable will you still be able to use it on the end of the day five makes free it has so it can even if you have a very slow pc it can still open up a lot of tabs considering that this is 64 megabytes we're working with not that usual 4 gigs 8 gigs 16 gigs no no no, no. this is literally quite legitly it is just a ton of applications that's open and it's like and it's still running fine you can still use it, it's not unusable. Like, for example, you see how fast that still is. Like, here's a few of the built in commands. Alright. Let's raise the amount of free RAM it has again. So yeah, on average, if you have 64 megs of RAM, it should run fine. Why? Why do you have to? Okay. So yeah, if you have a very slow PC, this could actually be something for you. Let's actually reboot. Because this gives you an option to use only the command line. So let's only use the command line. Let's see what happens then. So how much do we have free? This time we we have free if, if you only use the command line and you have 64 megs of RAM, you will have about 29 megabytes free. That is if you use the command line. That is really Beautiful. Interesting. I really find this quite interesting. What is that command that RM or if something like that? Would I recommend you? you use it? As an experience, yes. You don't need to install it, it's pretty nice. Let's put it to the max. So let's give it even less RAM. So 64 divided by 2 would be 32 megs. That's less than the recommended amount or the needed amount. So see it's 32 and you need 46. So let's see how does it oh, whoopsie how does it function? Does it even function? So if you do have maybe a very slow old, P very old PC that has like 64 megs of RAM, barely any storage, if it even has any space, and you just need something to put on it so it's not useless, boot it up. And you're booting in 60 seconds. This could be because we don't have enough RAM. <laughs> Anyways. So, and you have an old PC result on there, and you don't want it to be useless. This is a great thing to just try on it. You don't need to install it, it's just there. It works perfectly fine, it's pretty interesting. <sighs> Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing us experiment. See you all in the next video.